hi, this is Jack. Okay, continuing with the history of mankind. Now remember, all the points that I'm covering is part of the entire history of mankind explanation. Okay, so each point has a specific place in completing the entire puzzle of the understanding of the history of mankind. And there is much, much more to come. I've almost got the entire history of actually the universe to explain, but here I am, enjoying it extensively. Okay, um, holographics. I have explained in a previous interview that the programming of human beings have occurred in the DNA. So everything of that you are and see, interpret, experience, interact with, exists within the programming of your DNA. Um, I'd say your DNA is there where the seed is and from that seed the flower that grows is you. Um, that you are now. How do holographics work? Okay. Interesting. So there's always been said that there is a veil being pulled over humanity's eyes. But what does that mean? What does it mean when you have a veil over your eyes? What is holographics? Okay. Allow me to explain. What you see in this world are pictures. Really. If you look at people, if you look at the world, if you look at buildings, if you look at nature, it is pictures. And where have you proved it to yourself? In children's picture books, in magazines, um, on the news, on television, um, in cinemas, everywhere. It is examples of what this world is. Pictures. But how do these pictures work? Are they really there? I have mentioned that the manipulation of sound to manifest nature have been used. Um, that the expression of this living organism which is called Earth and the universe have been manipulated. Now an interesting realization that is required about life is that you cannot kill life. You cannot remove life from existence. You cannot be able to suppress life, but not even for that long. But that is another topic. First, let me get to what you see in this world. What you see in this world is not real. It is an illusion. How is that possible? Within the DNA, okay, the DNA stream connected to your eyes, connected to your brain. From the DNA to your eyes, to your brain, light frequency reflectors were inserted. Now, what are light frequency reflectors? In other words, as I've said in the beginning, um, the Earth, it wasn't called the Earth then, but I'm referring it to as Earth now because everyone understands the terminology Earth. Um, the Earth was the expression of sound. Together with the Atlanteans, the, everything was the expression of sound. Um, now, in terms of, remember, Anu and them created the eyes, everything, created it, manifested it. It was basically empty. In other words, the eyes of the human physical body couldn't see, okay? They had to create the systems inside the human physical body to be able to see and interpret existence, okay? But first, they had to figure out and understand how the hell they see. Because they were able to present themselves in picture form, but how on earth do they really actually see? And then they realized that the shape or expression they take in have a specific sound frequency, okay? 
because of that specific form resonating a specific frequency that is interpreted by their eyes and their expressions what they see. So that's the exact same way they designed human beings and the systems within human beings. Remember, it was the human physical body with the mind consciousness system connected within and as the human physical body and the human being within the system powering the system to be able to function and participate in this world and with other human beings. The creation of man. Kind. Um, so what they did was the following. They looked at the expression of the earth at that time. The expression of sound. With the gravitational pull starting to manifest in strange expressions. Um, now in terms of the creation of the earth, which is the universe, you know, night, day, um, nature, the ocean, the earth, etc. That was also an entire process which I will cover. For first, let me focus on holographics. So, in terms of the expression, all they did was within the eyes reflect the sound frequency of that which exists resonating into the eyes within the system interpreted by what is seen according to sound frequency reflective expression and then a picture was formed of that understand that nothing ever before was really in a picture form it was in a sound expression that sound expression was able to be manifested in a picture form which is but the light frequency sound um, resonance of the uh, of the sound expression okay so that's what pictures are pictures what you see of this world is merely the specified manifestation of the sound frequency resonating expression that exists within existence as who we are so therefore and that was also programmed within the DNA um, so in terms of what exists within the dimensions, as the dimensions, is what is sound expression, but not the sound expression, remember that. The sound expression as life as I am is here, but that expression of who we are will only manifest as ourselves, as all as one come together as I am. So, what is holographics? But, the, the specified holographics are pictures of the specified sound frequency resonance of sound expression. That's manifested in your DNA, connected to your eyes, connected to the mind consciousness system within you. So what you actually see is not actually real. Thank you very much. This is Jack.